Hello and welcome. I'm Aruma. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 9. Let's play the Old Gods. Fight the Norse playthrough. I am sad. I'm excommunicated. So what, what better way to make myself feel better than to go and, you know, shag my wife. I need a fifth son. It's important. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's run away. Alright, buddy, I need you for a second. I don't think I can appoint him quite yet. Shoot! Shoot, shoot, shoot. He's stuck in Rome. There is a way out of this. I could appoint a new court chaplain. That'll offend this one. And he's not nearly as good. Um, but I really don't want to lose my men right now. So let's do that. And now my guy's not over there anymore, so we'll be able to put that bishop in charge. The organizer. Which should hopefully allow us to get there one day ahead of him. Good, good, good. Now he can run away. And you need to go to the Pope. Make him like us better. He has a 28% chance per year of making it better. And this guy has a 36% chance per year of making it better. Meanwhile, I should probably make sure that my all my people in my realm are getting married. My courtier wants a wife. How about this one? Sounds good. And let's ask Sussex as well. Uh, this guy, this woman. No, no, no. I don't want to worry about women. Uh, that's the only one that really wants to become married, so we'll just, that's fine. Run away! Oh, and now he's petitioned to become the new court chaplain. It's fine with me. Although it's going to piss off this other one. He's never liked me anyway. Okay, lead the troops just... <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just totally, totally deserted my brother. <laughs> Oh, good luck, buddy. <laughs> it's just like, you see the troops come in and we're like, oh yeah, man, we're with you, totally. <laughs> we just start marching the opposite direction. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Oh, it's comical. Okay, all right, I accept your suggestion. That's nice. Okay. So as soon as we get home and we disband the troops, uh, I'm going to send that guy back to Rome. All right, this guy, since he's a he's a better learned man, has a 38% chance of, of doing it. So... All of a sudden I have 280 gold. I don't really know where that came from. I'm imagining somebody died. Uh, Wolf Wolfmare? Somehow, maybe he had some money? Okay, so that's good. Oh, what are we up against still? I mean, this war, good lord, I, I just don't think we can win. 16% because he still controls that single county. If we took it back, it would really turn the war. But there's the chance that my, my brother might just surrender before I can actually turn the war around for him. Now, he still doesn't have a son. This woman, his woman, keeps out spitting out girls while mine spits out boys. So I still want him dead, but I'm not going to be able to get him dead while I'm excommunicated. Everyone's going to be upset with me. Like The chances are very low that they'll accept my plot. So, the question is... How aggressively should we defend his offensive war? Let's just let the game run while I think. So, if we weren't in the offensive war, if I wasn't called into this, what would I be doing right now? Uh, I'd probably be trying to get him killed. So... God, 22, that would be so easy to beat him. 900 men plus, you know, like, 75 gold but gets me 1,500, it's 2,400. Or even paying for this one here. We could beat him. He only has 290 troops to his name. But he's got 300 gold. What an idiot. I think the AI should just more aggressively spend their gold. He's actually letting his counties just get sieged. 
His capital even. He's going to surrender. Let's just let him surrender. We're up against all the Norse. Like all of England for the most part. Hey, good job. My bishop here, um, who was upset with me for firing him. Oopsies. Uh, has made the Pope like us better. So hopefully that'll be all we need to do, and the Pope will lift the excommunication. Costs 50 piety, but that's better than spending a few hundred gold on it. Much, much better, in fact. Alright. So now everyone's going to be happy with me again. Yet unwilling to murder my brother. We've collected a tithe. Perfect. Earl Sigyrk is trying to usurp my title. Chancellor Weristan is supposedly traveling around Somerset trying to find both documents and supporters to help him legitimize a claim on the title. Alright, so the Chancellor of Gloucester for the Earl of Gloucester. So this guy is trying to fabricate claims on my title. I don't really care that much. Um... We could, we could try to murder him for 10 pi. Let's just do that. I like when people die. They've succeeded! The troublesome chancellor who was roaming around the county trying to fabricate a claim is no more. No trace leading back to me. How sad. About the only good thing I get from this war is that I can freely attack the pagan armies and try to weaken them. Um... You know, like, I, I am tempted to do that. I can, I'm hostile with all of them right now. But he's got 2,000 men. He has... 960. This guy here, the Denmark guy. He's down to 2,000. I mean, they're all strong, but not that strong. Oh, man. What should I do? Should I fight him or not? Oh, let's resort to our traits. I am just and gregarious, but I'm yeah, I'm a yeah, yeah. I'm a coward. I made the decision pretty easy. <laughs> hey, it's a son. <laughs> Good lord, this woman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Five of them. That's amazing. Okay, what kind of technology did you just learn from me? Nothing all that fancy. I want this one. I want castle infrastructure. This woman is dead. It wasn't my lover, was it? I need to make more babies. The seed is strong. Okay. Nobody wants to help me. Looks like his wife is just about all done making babies. I mean, she could make more, but she's not pregnant. His willy doesn't work nearly as well as mine. I make babies all the time. No matter what I do, my sweetheart never seems to be happy, complaining that we never do anything exciting together. She sulks when I have time, when I tell her I have too much to do to be able to entertain her all the time. Having a lover is more hard than I thought. I could become charitable. Extra diplomacy, which could be very useful for getting someone to join my plot. I could take her to do something dangerous, or I can be greedy. I think I'll try for char- yeah, let's do charitable. It's only seven gold. Uh, charitable, I don't think modifies the- yeah, it doesn't. Come on, plotters. Damn. I need to throw a feast. As soon as my brother loses this war, we'll throw a feast. And we'll murder him. It'll be just like that one episode in Game of Thrones. I'm not going to say any more. Spoilers. Spoilers. Now the Chancellor of Oxford. They all seem to want my titles. 
Damn Christians. Yes, yes, that bastard. I know. They all have these fabricated claims. Seems like at least. Okay, so he lost. Yep, he surrendered. Well, that's that's fine. So, it's May. We're not at war anymore, so we have the ability to do these things again. I definitely want to do a feast. His wife is still not pregnant. My wife probably is. To the most excellent King Alfred, may you live in harmony and contentment. We request that you honor your obligations and answer this call to arms. It would cost 100 prestige if I did not be a part of the Peasant Revolt for Poitiers. Poitiers. And the Angevin War for King Karl Le Mans claim on West Francia. Wow, that's a big war. So King Louis, here, is defending against <coughs> King Karl the Fat here. Carloman the Wise, actually, no. He is... Who's King Carl the Fat? Prince Carl the Fat. Okay. This guy has a claim on West Francia, and he's currently attacking him over it. That's a big war. I don't want to get involved in that. I want to go on a hunt. Or not a hunt. I want a feast. He's got 12,000 troops, and he has... 11,000. That's a pretty close war. He has a lot of allies, though. He can call that guy to war. Oh, man. I am too small to get involved in that war. I decline. I respectfully decline. I'm sorry. I only married your daughter because I wanted to have lots of babies with her. She's, she's pretty. She's fun in the sack. I didn't want to join your dumb wars. Now, of course, he's not going to like me for that, but... I need to go on my... I need to have a feast. Damn it. It's important. <laughs> Don't you understand? <laughs> we need to have a feast. Come on, this has got to do it. This guy's amoral. He's got an amoral bishop. He's an ugly man. He's lustful and greedy. Deceitful and arbitrary. Now, we could try to take some land back from the Norse here. but that would require attacking one of them directly. And the only cast spell I think I have is the Holy War. Actually, we can claim, claim Chester on behalf of a courtier. Ah, that must mean that that guy has some money. Yeah, if this guy dies, he's gonna give me his gold. 77 gold if he dies. Hmm, I wonder if that can be arranged. <laughs> I want your money. Alright. I think it's time to upgrade some stuff because I don't see... I don't know. A waste of money, a waste of time, but oh, it felt so good. The pleasures of life make everything much... feel less tiresome. I actually have five. I have five sons already, so I think I'm gonna say stay strong. I, I don't need more babies. That'll provide us with maximum levies from our bishops, two of them at least. And at least Bishop Aidwine here is starting to like me better. Actually, that reminds me, I've got my chant. My guys working on Rome. We don't need that anymore. Okay, where does this bishop live? Somerset. Okay. Improve relations with him, and you can. Um, I don't, I don't want to do the offensive thing. I'm not going to attack anyone. I should improve relations with the mayor here. The mayor of Somerset. I'm not going to do any claim fabricating. It's all going to be alliance-based stuff. Besides, that's not part of England. That's part of Wales. Okay, so my half-sister's husband is dead. He was sacrificed in a, in a blute. Lot, loot, whatever. Stop criticizing me. <clears throat> Alright, so castle infrastructure for sure. Yeah. Do 
Dorset's very, very weak. Upgrading the castle could help, but because of the Gavilkind succession, I'm going to lose both of these titles. We're only going to keep Wessex, so I should just keep upgrading Wessex. This is a pretty good capital. It's got a decent amount of holdings. Not quite as good as Middlesex, Middlesex, but uh, pretty good nonetheless. So yeah, we're not at war. Um, my brother still does not have a son. His wife's not pregnant. Oh god damn it! <laughs> I was just like sitting around like, what am I waiting for? What am I doing? Um, why? Why? There's nothing happening. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to do a feast. March. I certainly am forgetful. There should be a trait, forgetful. Do I want my son to be kind? Sure. What a kind young boy. He's turning into a, van a very good diplomat. Although when he comes of age, I'm gonna, I'm gonna almost guaranteed train him up to be a military man, which is okay. Military gives good good technology points. We could get level two legalism. And I'm only a duke. Might as well do that. Actually I have extra extra limit now. Alright. Let me just I need to remember to do this. I'm gonna play a little bit extra. I wanna get over I really wanna get this feast. I gotta do this feast. I'm not leaving this screen. You can't make me. Where'd that bishop go? A lot of them just aren't... It might not even make a difference. I don't think a lot of them are close enough that a feast will really make a difference, but we'll do it anyway. Stay on that screen. Stay on that screen. Stay on that screen. Large feast. Waiting for November, August, September, October, November. A couple months. It's coming. Yeah, so playing on speed 3 is certainly slowing the game down. We started in 867. It's not even been 20 years. And I think we're on like episode 9 or 10 or something like that right now. So, I don't know. I enjoy it though. I've done the world domination thing. I just want to take my time. And if you want to come along for the ride, I appreciate you doing so. I think I can, I think I can. November. November. Right here. Ready? 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 And go. Plan the feast. <laughs> it must be planned. It'll be marvelous. Okay, now that it's planned, we're good to go. So I'm gonna wrap this one up here. In the next video, I really need to decide what to do with all this money. Um I don't know. I mean I want to defend against the Norse, but I don't really want to attack them. So we'll see. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon.